Dr. K's next patients are two goldfish, Harry and Sally. Both are having trouble swimming normally. For this case, Dr. K is shadowed by Jake, a vet student interested in aquatic medicine. Oh, Lordy, we got one sinking and one floating. How are you, friend? Good to see you again. Oh, my gosh. It's been a long time. I know. Oh, but goodness, that's no good. Harry, the bigger one, just sinks to the bottom and he stays at his spot. The other one is on her back. She's actually 95% of the time she's on the surface floating. It's been like this for like a few months now. They both have buoyancy issues, and this can be very, very serious in fish. If they cannot be properly buoyant, they can't swim well, they can't get food properly, and it can be life-threatening. The easiest thing to do to get the most information is to get an x-ray. Okay. X-ray each fish. Yeah and see what we get as far as what does her swim bladder look like, what does everything else look like yeah. in there, too. I'm confident she's as good as it gets, and if there's something she can do, she would tell me. If not, then there's no more I can do at this point. Andreas absolutely loves his fish, and I can completely appreciate that. He's going to leave them with me for the day to see if we can figure out what's going on and what we can do to help them. One of the things we're going to start with right away is, of course, some radiographs. Can one of y'all set up for x-rays on the fishy? Sure. Most people would not even think that doing any kind of surgical procedure, or medicine for that matter, on a goldfish is even possible. But here, fish are people too. Everybody gets treatment, and we can and we have done many surgeries on fish. 